Hi, in this video we're going to go ahead and create our additional pages for the application as well as link the shapes buttons we made in the previous video to the pages. Okay, so let's begin. But before we go into our application, I'm going to go to the business requirements document just for a second to show you again. Here's what we just built, the title, which is a text box, our two cards, our two visualization cards, our three visualization slicers, and then obviously our three shapes or buttons, okay? So we're kind of following along our business requirements document. Again, the colors and fonts I selected were just a preference. You can use any colors or fonts you wish to use to make your application professional. I highly recommend you kind of keep it coordinated, the same font family, for example, uh, just, you know, same basic colors and whatnot, okay? So, okay, let's go back to our application. So again, I'm in Power BI service on the web, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on my application here, open it up. Okay, looking good. So now, easy enough, let's, let's go to edit mode, and we're gonna do a couple things. So first of all, so I have this page, so this is gonna be my, my basic construction of the page, that is a, a, a common header. So this header is gonna be common throughout my application, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna right click here down in the lower left corner and change this word page to home. So this is my home page. Now I'm gonna right click again, I'm gonna duplicate this page. I'm gonna, again, right click, Rename the page to Ranking. And finally, I'm going to right click again and rename and duplicate the page and change the page to rename it to Raw Data. Okay, so I have my three pages I have Home, Ranking, and Raw Data. Okay, and again, notice common header on all three pages. So the bottom area here is where I'm gonna, the canvas area, the dashboard area, whatever you wish to call it, I'm gonna put my visualizations, okay? Which we'll go through in later videos. But let's go back to the home page. So again, I'm still in edit mode. I'm gonna click on the ranking button and I'm gonna select, so notice it goes format, shape, action. I'll turn action on. And this time I'm gonna look at the action I'm going to specifically say I want to do page net so I want to give this shape a nav I want to give this shape an uh, an action and the action is going to be page navigation so then power bi says that's awesome but where do you want to, when someone clicks on this ranking shape where do you want to go and I'll go to the ranking page likewise when I click on raw data I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and click on raw data I'm going to turn the action on and the same thing, it says, hey, what do you want to do? I want to go to a page, and what's my destination? It's the raw data page, okay? So there we go. And obviously, if you notice here, let's take a step back, I can do different pages, Q&A page maybe, um, a web URL, or whatever, okay? So let's just keep it simple for now, okay? So the home button here on, this, on the home page, I'm not going to do anything with because I wouldn't click on the button to go to the same page that I'm already on. Okay, so we're gonna leave it alone, all right? Now, let's let's skip ahead here, go to ranking, same thing, click on home, turn on the action, so I'm on the ranking page, and I'm gonna go here, page navigation, destination, home, raw data, action, page navigation, raw data, data and finally on the raw data page we'll go there and I could have created these buttons and copied and pasted them and made you know made the buttons and you know copy paste them whatever but I'd rather do it this way because then I know everything works and I had to have the pages ready before I create the have the buttons do the action if that makes any sense so again now home on and again I'll show you something else too when I'm on so notice I'm on the raw data page when I click Page navigation even says, hey, you can only go to home or ranking. You can't go to the raw data page because you're already there. So home, and then we'll click on the ranking, turn on the actions, pretty easy. Type page, and we'll demo it in a minute. Um, ranking, and there we go. So now we have those three buttons 
connected to each other. And I can actually test this into design mode. I can click, hold the control button, control key down on my keyboard and click on home and we'll go to home. Control key on ranking, click on ranking, go to ranking. Control raw data goes to raw data. Ranking, and I go back to raw data or ranking. I'll go back to home and notice down here it's changing the tab to the tab. Okay. Even if I save it, now watch what happens when I save this. I'm going to click on home. I'm going to go re go into the application again. And you have a little bit of a different view. Oh, here we go. So notice what, what Power BI did. Did did this over here. It set up actually links to each page over here in the left side of my uh, screen, but you know what? That's awesome. But I can also click here as well. Ranking, raw data, go back and forth to each of the pages. Okay. So that's what I, so again, I set up the buttons first. I created, so I had my header all created. It's all set. Then I went ahead and, and duplicated my home page where I have all my work, right? I'll go to edit for a minute. So I'll duplicate this home page. I made my two other pages and I just kind of linked them up through the shapes. Okay. So again, a nice consistent look and feel very professional look and whatnot now that i have the three pages created the canvas area dashboard area again whatever you wish to call it it's empty let's add our visualizations and that'll be the next videos okay so thank you for watching this video